Hey, what's going on with shipping? It's Alan Mercagliano coming to you from the Outer Banks of North Carolina. That's right, I'm doing my best Peter Zeehan impersonation, except I actually think the Jones Act is not a bad thing, whereas Peter hates it. I want to give you an update on the Fremantle Highway. Reports are coming in that the fire is now out on board the vessel. Remember, the fire broke out back on July 26 when the ship was sailing from Emden, Germany, en route to Asia via the Suez Canal. The vessel had on board 3,783 vehicles, including 498 electrical vehicles. We're not sure what started the fire on board, but having that many electrical vehicles on board is an issue. The ship is now anchored 16 kilometers north of Amland. It's one of the Outer Bank Islands of the Netherlands. A uh, salvage crew was able to get on board and drop the anchor. You don't need power to do that. Uh, you do need power to bring the anchor back up or you'll have to drop the anchor. Uh, right now, the Dutch Ministry of Infrastructure and Water Management and the Dutch Coast Guard are overseeing this operation along with salvers from Multraship and Smit Bacallus who are on board the vessel as we speak. There's also an oil recovery vessel, the Arca, that's on scene to ensure that if there's any pollution, it is protected. The uh, outer islands there, the Netherlands, are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so really important to prevent any sort of environmental damage. Uh, the salvers right now are on board, and they're going to assess what is going on board the vessel. Number, number one, they got to determine whether or not the fire is truly out, and most importantly, prevent a reignition on board. They don't want fire breaking out again, and that means they're going to have to get on board and do that. To do that, they're going to need to use the ship's fire mains and fire systems, which means they're going to have to get down in the engine room, assess whether or not they can use ship propulsion, and ship power or else they'll have to bring vessels alongside to provide power and water suppression and fire suppression on board. And then the last part is where to go with this vessel. They're going to have to tow it somewhere and so the question is where does it go? Does it go back to Germany? Does it go to the Netherlands? Does it go to some other spot where they can go ahead and begin the salvage operation? They're going to have to offload this vessel, uh, stabilize it, and eventually it's going to be scrapped. There's no way they're going to repair this vessel. This vessel is good for nothing more than the scrap yard. Another note that we found out was the crew of the 23 people on board. We know one crew member, an Indian crew member, if they were Indians on board this ship, died initially at the time of the fire. We believe uh, died either from the fall from the vessel or in the water. Of the 22 remaining personnel, 20 of them have been released from the hospital. The two remaining personnel in the hospital are the ship's captain and a pilot who is on board. Uh, basically, what we do know is that the crew were forced to jump from the vessel into the ocean. Not sure where they jumped from, because if you jump from the accommodation ladder, that's maybe about two decks high. From the aft, uh, um, aft uh, uh, positions or the forward positions where you tie the vessel up is maybe about three, four decks high. But if you got to jump from the very top weather decks, you're talking about eight decks high, and that's pretty high. And hitting water at that speed is obviously not good for you. We know that the two lifeboats are still on board. We did learn that Panama, which is the flag of registry, will be conducting an investigation into this. I'm not too positive about a Panamanian investigation. It's going to take a long time. It took two years to do Ever Given. It took three years to do a variety of other investigations we have seen come out, the Wakashio, for example. So no telling what kind of information we're going to get from Panama. I'm more confident that the Dutch are going to want an investigation done because this is happening right there off their territorial waters and they were the primary response to it. Plus this ship is actually owned by Japan, so it's a Japanese com company that owns it, ironically the same company that owns Ever Given. I'll keep you up to date with new information as it comes out. Also be on the lookout for a video dropping this week on the recent history of car carrier fires. If you're new to the channel, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, so be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media, give it a thumbs up, and if you can, support the page. How do you support the page? You hit that super thanks button down below, or head on over to Patreon and become a monthly, yearly subscriber to the channel. Until our next video, this is Sal, signing off from the beautiful Outer Banks of North Carolina. If you get a chance to come out here, it is a beautiful place to be.